Hey, what's going on guys up there one will be fine and welcome back to this complete course so this video is about the authentication process so in this full stack video we have used angular as our front end and back end with the help of laravel api we are able to authenticate the user right so we are using jwt for login which is basically helpful for protecting the route and we will able to protect the route from the api and we can fetch the token and you can make the request using token to access the protected routes and all the tokens which we generate with, from the JWT is, is stored to our local storage and that's how we can protect the routes, right? So first we will have to look up for the demo that what the things we are gonna cover in this complete course, right? So first we, as a registration, we have all the required fields. So with the help of reactive forms in Angular, we are able to apply the validation, right? So as long as I type something here, you see now the red color is disappeared, right? So let's add the valid email. Now it also shows that the email must be valid. Now as, as long as I type the, the valid email, the error is removed. The password must have the six characters. So we also applied the check and now the password must also match from the confirm from the password, right? So now you see the password, everything is perfect. Now if I just try to click on the register, you see the message on the top with the help of the API, we are able to show the message here. So we have the response 200 plus with the message. Now, if I just try to add the uh, same credentials here and uh, this check is apply on the email. Now, if I just try to duplicate that same email, which I already registered and try to up register that and we also have our inside our api for laravel we also have uh, added the condition that email must already exist so that's that, that these are all the checks which are required for the authentication now let's move to the login here all right so this is the basically the page where we are able to show the uh, to add the email and password to access the dashboard and act, and basically the dashboard is accessed directly to the home page now if i just try to access the home page you see now it redirects me back to the login means that the, it, it required the email and the password plus we have also applied the validation that email is required and the password is required Right, so first write the uh, wrong password. If I just try to add the bad credentials, let's suppose if I try to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you see here it shows that email or password is incorrect. Now let's add the right um, credentials here. And actually I need to check what I have added here, yeah. Now it shows the message that it's logged in successfully and with the help of the uh, logout, we are able to log out. Now, if I just try to show you one more thing here, if you go to the inspect, click uh, right click on here or press F12. So let's go to the console and you see here on our console, we have our very long string. So our token, so basically this, we, this is all taken from the JWT and we have to store this inside our uh, local storage which should be inside your application so let's go into your application and you see here we have saved the value for the token now if, as soon as i just try to log out with from here and you see now the token is disappeared so that is very important to save your token inside your local storage in order to access your credentials in order to protect your routes right so that's it so i hope you guys love this complete video and i also have our my CRUD functionality from in Laravel and I, I will also give the link in the description for a refresher so you're able to add the CRUD functionality plus the authentication which should be in the next part right so please don't forget to like and subscribe this video and I want to see you in the next part.